first thing you need to do uh, when you do when you speed run 100% is you need to go into app data roaming back to app data local low super hot underscore chain super hot and get rid of the super hot folder you can save it or you can just get rid of it it doesn't matter but yes because then it will reset all the secrets now here's the kick secret all you have to do you can shoot this guy I don't I don't think it matters you just jump down here go all the way to the back and then there's the secret after you get most of the secrets in this game make sure you hold R to restart the level and then beat it normally okay so there's two strats to alley you can either pick up the gun shoot this guy jump up here oh my God. jump up here <laughs> jump through here jump down here jump around you can go through this for some reason or you can just go around it as normal and then get the secret and exit out the second strat to the secret in the alley is you jump up here, jump up here. It's probably the faster strat actually, but it's kind of hard to get down perfect. Jump through here, jump up here, jump through here, and then do the same thing as you did last time. Quarter is kind of hard in a normal playthrough, but all you have to do is look down while jumping to the side. And what this basically does is um, it flips your hitbox upside down because this game is well programmed. And once you get over here, there's um, some squares on the ground that are darker than this line. If you go through this line, you go through the floor. So make sure you don't do that. Make sure you land on one of these and then the secret's right here. Now, there's two ways to get the secret in drop. Basically, you just jump over here. Now here's the hard way to do it. You can just fall down here, hold space if you want to be safe, and then just fall down here. That's the risky strat. Again, it's way faster though. There's the secret right here. The second strat you can do, which is way fa uh, way safer, not faster, is um, you jump down to the edge of the car and you jump, and you just hold space and uh, W, and you'll get here. Again, it's slower, but it's safer, if you want to be safe. So, for the strat for Subway, you can kill these two guys. It's really not needed if you don't want to, if you want to save time. You just get on that trash can and then jump on top of the train. Now, you go over here. Be careful with these benches, because their hitboxes are really bad. You jump across these benches, jump to this bench. Now, this bench has a very bad hitbox. Basically, just get speed on your jump, and then jump at it and hopefully you don't get stuck on it and there's the secret the jump is probably one of the more easier levels you can just jump over the car jump out the window and then go through the back there's gonna be platforms over here you can just jump on you can take it slow if you want if you don't think you're gonna make a jump take it slow now you're gonna see this text important call and the secret will be right here there, next to the merry-go-round so, strats for shots, as you can see I already grabbed the gun. You don't have to kill that guy by the way, it's just optional. You, um, if you spam click during a loading screen, it'll allow you to throw things before things even you can even see anything. So what you do is you jump on these dog heads. Okay, there's a corner around here, you jump around it. It's kind of hard to see. And then you jump at it. Make sure you take your time with this secret, because if you miss it, if you miss it, that will happen. But again, I intentionally missed it because I didn't actually delete super hot. Uh, so for Fight Club, you do normal strats, or whatever your normal strats are for the first four enemies. You can kill this guy through the fence, by the way. I don't. This is a well-programmed game. You go past these three guys. You can kill like two of them if you want, but that's optional. You can either jump over that or go around and get the secret, but either way works fine, and you can get the secret. Now, what else you can do if you feel confident enough, you can um, kill these guys through the wall. So you don't actually have to restart. But then again, RNG like that could lose time. So it's just depending on what you want to do. Strap for Desperado is basically... 
So the strat for Desperado is basically just run a lot, get on this table. So the strat for Desperado is just run past these guys. <laughs> so the strat for Desperado is just run past these guys, really. And get on top here, go out this window. Now, this is going to be completely blind, so... Crap, where am I? Okay, you see these windows? As soon as you pass them, hold, like, forward. There's gonna be a corner here. That means you're doing good. There's gonna be a corner around here, so hug the wall around here, and then, boom, the secret is right here. Now, for the strap, the strap for break is kind of hard, because you have to hold space, like, in the loading screen. Well, you don't have to hold it. You kind of have to, like, spam it. There you go. I got up there. Make sure you throw the bat. You really don't want the bat for this. Go down here. Now you jump off. I'm going to intentionally miss the secret, but you don't have to. Make sure you be careful with that click. Because if you miss it, that will happen. Then, once you get out of that secret screen, you can, um... You can just restart and beat the level normally. However, however... Whatever strat you use for this, I'm not gonna judge. For tire alley, there's a couple different strats you can do. But I'm gonna be using a very difficult one right here. That involves you going around the corner. Okay, for tire alley, there's a couple different strats you can do. I'm gonna be using a very difficult strat. Just to show it off. It's a new one. You can disable this guy, take his gun, so he won't he won't shoot at you when you're climbing up the truck. And you get you have to get a running start at this jump or else you'll miss it. You throw the gun away, you don't really need it. You come up on this railing. Now there's like a railing right above you, which is why sometimes it gets stuck a little bit. The clipping, you jump onto this railing, and then from that railing you jump onto this roof, and you jump here pretty easy now these stairs are buggy so and sometimes you get stuck on them jump over here and then the secrets right here now from this you could either restart the level or jump in the middle part on the alley part because if you jump anywhere else it, the level glitches out a little bit and you can't see now usually if you let the guy have the AR he'll be like around here and you can kill him but for me he didn't it wasn't that good and he's gone so that can happen as well he can go through walls. He went through a wall and picked up his gun. So yeah, that can happen. And there you can just beat the level normally. So for the second strat of Tire Alley, you can go over here. You can, jumping on the truck is optional. You just go on top of the truck, pray he doesn't hit you, and pray you make the jump. Like I missed it. Kind of have to slow jump for this, make sure he doesn't get you. So now it's kind of home free. Now, from the secret, you can jump down here, through the middle. Usually, if the guy has an AR, he'll be right here. You could die from that, so it's a very risky strat. You can always just restart the level. So there's a, there's a couple of ways to get the hospital secret. You can just YOLO it and jump down here, and hope you hit like an edge. And go behind it, and you can get the secret. There's, an also, there's also a safer strat you can do. Involves just holding jump till you get about here, then going back here, and then you know getting down here and meeting computer face on. But the falling down, just straight down strat is way faster, but it's less safe. So it depends on what strat you want to use. So the strat for donut, basically you can kill these guys, you can not kill these guys. But what you have to do essentially is just get on this roof, jump up to this roof go to where the fishes are and the secret will be right here so the strat for old boy is you can kill these guys or you can not kill these guys it really doesn't matter as long as you get here fast take the jump onto the feet very slow and make sure it's not you're not going to the left too far or else because the hitboxes on the feet are really weird what you need to do is 
jump out the window, go to the very end, jump down, and there'll be, oh, come on, jump down, there we go. Say so much jumping, feeling tired, and the secret's here. You can get the secret during so much jumping and feeling tired. There you go. Strap for elevator is you punch the guy on the right, jump through the guy in the middle, you usually want to stomp him, but whatever, as long as I'm alive. And uh, shoot these guys. Not die. Okay, this is really weird combination of strat. So, jump around the corner slowly, you'll go over here, and then the, the secret will be right here. That bomb is really easy. All you have to do is kind of just jump through the wall and then get down over here and there's going to be a thing here. You can jump up this wall because, you know, it's game design. It's pretty good. And it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You don't have to jump up the wall. Make sure you throw the katana and see where it will be right here. Now, usually the strat for meeting is you want to stun these... You want to stun that guy and kill that guy and jump out the window immediately. Make sure you get some height on your jump because the ledge is like right on the same height as the other things. So there's going to be this thing and the secret's right here. And the strap for fall isn't very hard. All you have to do is take your guy, jump through. Now this jump is kind of finicky because sometimes it just doesn't jump. You jump across those two things and then the secret will be right here. Now the strap for, for stair is pretty easy. All you have to do is jump through this window and hit this jump. Alternatively, you can go on the ledge and then jump and try to get over here, but it's kind of hard. It doesn't save too much time. Now you have to get a running jump, and this jump is really hard to get sometimes. It's really finicky. You just have to get a running jump and hope you like hit it like sh dead on. There we go. Usually you just hit like a pixel of like this uh, hitbox. Now you go through here. I don't know if enemies can hit you from there. It's never happened to me. But here's the secret. You could go down there and try to beat the level. But it's very unsafe and probably doesn't save any much, that much time. Now for office, I usually like to just go and jump down here. There's like... Where the shotgun is, that's where you like go through. So make sure you, you locate the shotgun and you can just go through that, um, it's called a blind. Yeah, the blind. Jump on the keyboard and you make this jump and then you activate that secret. You can stun different guys, doesn't really matter. Just as long as you get down here. So the strap for st station, you kind of have to be a little fast with this. You usually want to hit that guy with the phone, and I did. You want to get on this train as quick as possible. Get on this sign, I think. Jump, get on like the edge of that, and jump up here. Now this platform is really weird. It you kind of just slide across it, so be careful of that. You want to make this jump. You want to make this jump, and this jump, and then go to this train. And then the secret will be right here. So the secret for train is probably the easiest secret in the entire game. You just go down here, you don't even have to jump. And the secret's right here. It's in the train car behind everything, so, you know. Now, gate's probably one of the harder secrets to get. What you want to do is um, make sure there's only one guy left standing. You want to make sure this guy's the only one left standing. So, you just want to go through the game, the, the level normally. But just leave that guy. Get the same. Now you want to jump on this truck. You'll get shot at a lot. Go through this fence. Make sure you go to the truck on the right because it doesn't allow you to jump on that wall for some reason. And you just jump around. Now this looks a little glitchy, but you go over here. And then down here, here's the secret. 
Now what I like to do after re after getting the secret is just take the dog, jump down, and then restart. Remember, gate is one of those levels that you will fall infin infinitely if you fall off of, because, you know, why not? Now, lobby is probably one of the faster secrets that you can get. So, basically, you want to jump through here, jump around here, go through the invisible wall, and then jump on these blocks if I can do it. Jump across here, there you go, pretty easy. Jump around here if you feel like, because you can get shot from there, but it's really usually don't hit. And the secret will be down here. Usually you would assume that there wouldn't be a secret on long way, but there is. So what you want to do is just jump across and watch out for that crooked light. This crooked light right here it tells you where the secret is. You just go straight through the wall. It's right where the crooked light is. You go th straight through the wall, and jump down, and then the secret's right here. Now Core has the final secret in the game. Right now we're going to go through the core normally, you know, normal speedrun strats. If you don't know the speedrun strats, I can tell you them right now. For the first stage, you just kind of want to jump around to the back, right here. And they don't have enough time to get you, and you just hold, hold forward on the pyramid. You don't have to, but whatever. What I like to do is usually get the secret on this stage of the core. What you want to do is jump up the pyramid, go over here, go through here, go on this lamp, jump up here, be careful that's a finicky jump, jump down for the secret which is right here. Now after getting that secret you're going to have to restart because there's no way of getting back up and hot switching into the core. For a speed run, you want to do the same thing but just stay behind this wall. Like, hug the wall, hold the A, and it'll continue, like, moving down the cooldown. And you can just jump up back up. You can't do that at the secret area because it just won't let you. Now, for the third stage of the core, it really. Uh, you can get the secret also. You get the secret in any stage of the core, it doesn't really matter. Depends on your preference. You go up here again, you do those jumps I did, and then you get the secret over here. Now when you exit out of the chat, there's specific it should have this transition incoming. If you don't have this, you did not get all the secrets. So, at that point the run's basically dead, but I don't know, you tr try to scrape it up. Now, again, it does not matter which stage of the core you're at that you get the secret, it's only one secret. And after that, you just beat the game normally.